Here we will see button web server control in ASP.NET. Button is an ASP.NET web server control which is used to display a simple push button on web page that allows user to post a page to the server. This control triggers an event in server code that you can handle to respond to the post back. It can also raise an event in client script that you can handle before the page is posted or that you can run and then cancel submission of the page. There are three types of button control in ASP.NET. First is simple push button, which displays text on a button control. Link button displays the text that looks like a link or hyperlink. And image button displays an image on a button control. Different properties of button controls are ID, which specifies the identification name of the button control. Access key is used to set the keyboard shortcut for the control. Back color is used to set the background color of button control. Border color is used to set the border color of the control. Border width is used to set the width of the border of the control. Four color is used to set the text color of the control. Tooltip is used to display a text on control when mouse over on it. Tab index is used to manage the tab order of the control. CSS class is used to apply style on the control. Enable property is used to set the enable or disable state of the control. Visible property is used to hide or visible control on the web page. Height is used to set the height of the control. And width is used to set the width of the control. Different methods for button controls are Data bind, which binds a data source to the invoked server control and all its child control. Dispose method enables a server control to perform final cleanup before it is released from the memory. Equal method determines whether the specified object is equal to the current object. Focus method sets the input focus to the control. Onload method raises the load event. And toString method returns a string that represents the current object. Different button control events are Click, which occurs when the button control is clicked. Command event occurs when the button control is clicked. Data binding event occurs when the server control binds to a data source. Disposed event occurs when a server control is released from the memory, which is the last stage of the server control lifecycle. Init event occurs when the server control is initialized, which is the first step in its lifecycle. Load event occurs when the server control is loaded into the page object. Pre-render occurs after the control object is loaded but prior to rendering. And unload event occurs when the server control is unloaded from memory. Click event handler is performed first and then the command handler. In any .NET application, we write server-side code at code behind page. To run server-side code, we use click or command event. Both button click and button command event are same. Only difference is that in command event, we can pass parameter using command name and command argument. For example, if we have two button controls, both call the same command event, then we can recognize which button is clicked by accessing their command name, as we assign different command name for both buttons. For example, if we have two button controls, button 1 and button 2 on waveform, we can set same command event for both buttons, that is, both button access same server side code. Here, with this situation, we have not find which button is clicked. For run separate code for both button with the same command event, we set different command name to both button control. Here we have used two buttons, button 1 and button 2. With button 1, we have passed the command argument as button 1 is clicked and its command name is b1. And with button 2, we have passed the command argument as button 2 is clicked and command name will be b2. And when we execute the button command, it will check whether the command name is b1 or b2. 
if it is b1 it will display the label text as button 1 command argument and if the command name is b2 it will display label 1 text as button 2 command argument